Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about seven reasons why you need a social media manager now or scheduler. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is that? If you're new in your affiliate marketing business, you're probably posting on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and LinkedIn and Twitter. You're posting all over the place because you want everybody to know all about your products because this is what you believe you should be doing. Now you should be posting. Um, you should be posting intentionally, but in the beginning, sometimes we just tend to post a lot, try to get engagement and things like that. And you're probably finding that you're spending most of your day posting and you're not getting any results. So the reason for this video is to give you a tool and tell you why you need it to help you manage all those posts. Now, if you're not doing that and you're only posting on one or two platforms, you could still benefit from this. So no matter where you are with posting, listen to these seven reasons and see if this is something for you. Now, before we go forward, if you like the content on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I have to uh, announce something today. I just got monetized actually as of this morning. So I'm very, very excited. It took me a year. I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a year. I'm not one of these people that got 10,000 or 200,000 followers in one year. Um, when I find out that secret, I'll let you know, but I did not. I did it the long and hard way, but it's been very rewarding and well worth it. So I just wanted to share that. Not that you care, right? You want to know why you should be posting, uh, using a social media manager. Um, what is it? First of all, think of being able to sit down one day, and maybe plan out all your posts that you want to make for the next 30 days. Um, some of you are posting every day. Some people only post so many times a week, whatever it is. Imagine being able to plan that out, have it all scheduled, and then be able to focus on other things, like plan it out for 30 days and get it knocked out in a day. It, it, it really um, saves you a lot of time. And the neat thing is, if you're posting on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, it depends on which social media management tool that you're using. So I'm not really going to promote any specific one, but I do want you to know that I do have a playlist that I'm going to show at the end of this video. It'll be on that last, um, right at the end, um, where I have several different social media management tools that I have reviewed or have compared. So go in there, find the one that's right for you. Cause one of the things, that's different about some of them is they don't post every place. Um, so that's what you need to decide. Where am I posting and which one best fits my needs? But what you are able to do is go in and maybe create one post and then it'll say, what do you want it to look like on Facebook? And you, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, what do you want it to look on, like on Instagram? Doo -doo -doo -doo. You know, see what I'm saying? You take it and modify it to each of the platforms and then say, I want all of them to go out on next Thursday at two o'clock in the afternoon and boop, you're done. You don't have to mess with it. So that's what a social media management tool does. It saves you a lot of time. And actually that is number one. That is the first reason you need to have one. It saves you a ton of time and it helps you to stay focused. I don't know about you, but when I first started my business and I knew that I had all these different things to do, I was trying to do everything every day and it got overwhelming. And I just felt like I was working forever. Um, you know, some days just seemed like they never ended. My to-do list never got done. And I started trying to think smarter where I tried to block out different activities and really focus on that one activity and then complete it. And it, so reason number one for needing a social media management tool is you can save a lot of time and it will help you to stay focused. Number two, this is one I love. Let's say you're posting on different, different platforms. Um, let's just use those three main ones for today, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Okay. You're posting on all three of them. Well, most programs are going to run in analytics for you. So you may find that a certain post has been very successful on Facebook, but maybe it didn't do anything on the other two. And it's going to help you just, um, pr prepare your post in the future onto those platforms and see what kind of posts are good for everything. So it analyzes everything and how does it analyze? It might say, how many comments did you get? How much engagement? How many likes? How much attention um, did, did the different um, posts get on the different platforms? So the analytics is really important for that reason. Now, this is one of my favorite 
things about um, planning ahead too is you can recycle your content so let's say you take this month and you post out 30 days and great everything went fine you go to the second month post out 30 days everything's great do it a third month how many times do you think you need all new fresh content everybody's not going to see everything so what i suggest after 90 days or 120 days three or four months start to recycle the content so you can go back in and look at the analytics oh, this one didn't work real well maybe i need a different picture so you can go edit it um you know tweak things a little bit and then recycle them so the second time around is even better now you may be saying well i want fresh content you can still do that maybe you can plan every thursday of every week or whatever or two days a week that you want something fresh you can still schedule it but maybe it's new content and the other days of the week just recycle and it again <laughs> saves you a lot of time so that's number three you get to edit your uh photos and you get to edit your post and then you get to recycle them number four you get to build an audience in different time zones and you might say well why would i care about that well once you start looking at your analytics you may notice that for some reason on twitter all of your posts are getting opened at 3 a.m in the morning but you're posting like two in the afternoon so obviously and people in another country for some reason are attracted to the posts that you have on Twitter I'm just using that as an example so you can go in and post those posts on Twitter at a t different time and then you're going to meet the time zones of other people so you can post at your time 3 a.m in the morning which would be during the day for somebody else so you know when you start digging in and looking at things like that it's only going to help you get better and better so that's what the analytics are for number five you get inspiration now you might say well how am i getting in any inspiration most media management schedulers will have a whole section of ideas for you they'll say here are a bunch of graphics and photos you can use here are quotes that you can use and here are some ideas and you might even have ideas under certain categories again it depends on which one you're using but most of them provide these types of things so if you feel stuck I know one um, planner that I was using even had trends like what's trending right now what kind of articles are trending and from that article I could say okay a lot of people are looking up this certain topic well then I might post about that if it fits in with my niche so you can get inspiration and a lot of times just going through some of the stuff that they have there it'll kind of give you some ideas of where you can go from there so that's another idea for you and number six is really important if you're to a point in your business and you feel like you know i need some help i i just um you're never going to be a one-man show forever i know many of us begin that way but somewhere along the line you're going to start having to pay other people to help you you outsource part of your work and this is really a great area to outsource because you've got people that do this for a living they sit there and post all day long and they probably got files and files of of content because this is what they do and so you can outsource to them and they can post on your whatever um, social media management tool that you're using that you're already paying for or you can go to an agency and they'll just do the whole thing for you and that's going to be a little bit pricier if you just let them take care of the platform and everything but if you purchase the the tool and you pay the monthly fee um, there's no reason somebody from Upwork can't come in and just posting for you I actually outsource my Pinterest posting I have somebody else do that for me and they just go right into my account and they do all the posting for me as an example so outsourcing sometime um, within your business plan you will be outsourcing and this is a great thing to outsource because um, you can't really mess it up too bad right um, and again if you still want your personal touch in there and you want um, things live from you like some Facebook lives and things you can do that but then worry about all that let somebody else worry about all that other stuff and the last one this one's pretty cool if you're using Facebook which most people are most planners will allow you to post a new Facebook cover and you might think well why would I do that why would I change my Facebook cover well if you're doing some kind of e-commerce or something like that and you're always advertising things maybe you're in a multi-level marketing business and you're selling oils and you're having a sale or a monthly special you can schedule in your post planner or your planner to go in and change out that Facebook cover 
and use that for advertising. So that's another idea as well. It's, it's a way that you can plan ahead, have them made, and maybe every week they can change or once a month, whatever it is that you want. Um, so especially if you're in sales, that's an excellent um, thing. And maybe you just want to change it out to freshen it and, and just um, give it some new content, uh, maybe some new quotes or things like that. So those are your seven reasons that you should get a social media scheduler if you don't have one you've never used it you have no idea where to begin i have a link below where you can try one for a 15-day free trial like i said there's lots of different ones out there you really just have to find the one that's right for you check out my playlist because like i said i've gone over several different ones in there and people have written back to me and said hey you know i love this one thank you so much um you know you, you just got to start doing some research don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will have videos like this for you three times a week to help you build your business thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video